right, let me break it down in layman's term real quick because look, I know you guys watch two minutes of the damn video, then you click off, and then we'll, we'll look. Then we'll get into the in, uh, inside baseball. Okay, Canelo lawsuit versus Golden Boy promotion to zone dismissed in current form deadline to amend. Now, like I said, let me let me break it down. First of all, shout out to boxing scene. I hung out with these guys in Houston. Cool as shit, you know, so shout out to you guys. So basically, Canelo's, you know, all-star, triple-A, multi-million dollar legal team, they go to court and they botch it. They, they botch this shit on day one. Day one, thrown out. Now, basically, they filed the wrong paperwork, okay? You can, you can click off the video right now if you want. That's what we're going to talk about. They, they went to court and filed the wrong pay talk about amateur hour okay and i've look i've done in-depth research on this i've read the court cases going back to 2016 2017 give an example of uh, after example of how you have to properly file against an llc or an incorporation you know it's based on where you live where you where your business is uh you know, uh, basically where, where, where you're from, right? Where you're, how do you say that? You're the, the home of your business. So they made just a, just an amateur mistake and it was just thrown out. KO, KO round one. Look, this is like Canelo coming out and getting knocked out in round one. So look, let's, let's go ahead and get into the article guys. Canelo Alvarez has his work cut out for him in the courtroom. The first round of, of Alvarez recently, uh, recently filed lawsuit against Golden Boy Promotion Company founder and chairman Oscar De La Hoya and sports dream DAZN was dismissed by U.S. District Court and Central District Court of California on Friday. The case was rejected on the grounds in which Canelo Alvarez's attorneys named the public defendant. So basically, Canelo's the plaintiff. Okay, DAZN, Golden Boy, they are the defendants. And you have to name them properly in your court filings and your paperwork and they were improperly named thrown out day one okay as plaintiff alvarez why would they give his record here i'm just curious 52 one and two which we know that's not correct because he lost to gennady Golovkin twice probably lost to austin trout but let's continue i would even say iris londi laura could have been a draw named his own north america incorporated his own media incorp his own us llc uh, perform Investment Limited Golden Boy Promotion LLC, Golden Boy Promotion in, uh, in Incorporated, and De La Hoya as defendants in the lawsuit where the Mexican icon seeks damages in excess of $280 million. In naming said partners, the burden of proof, okay, this is important, guys, the burden of proof resides with the plaintiff, meaning Canelo, to properly identify where the companies conduct their business. I was said home earlier. I was trying to think of a, a proper way to phrase it. I'm not a lawyer. Uh, but basically, you know, they, they improperly filed the paperwork, you know, these multi-million dollar attorneys. Friday's ruling suggests that uh, Alvarez and his legal team, the Maloney firm, have more work to do. Wow. Look, that's like turning in your, your you know, your science project and the teacher goes, nah, you got more work to do. Okay, because the complainant alleges the citizenship of the LLC defendants as uh, they were corporations rather than limited liability companies, the complainant has not properly alleged the citizenship of those parties, meaning, like it's said up here, you know, you have to show where they conduct their business, you know, talking about the zone, <coughs> excuse me, talking about golden boy promotion. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm not going to read all this legal mumbo jumbo, um, absent unusual circumstances, a, a party seeking to invoke diversity jurisdiction in which I looked that up, by the way, we will get into that. should be able to allege affirmative, affirmatively the actual citizenship of the relevant parties, meaning the zone and golden boy as a result, drum roll, brrr, drum roll. Here we go. Plaintiff's alle- allegations are not sufficient to invoke the court's diversity jurisdiction. So look, these guys didn't even know how to file the damn paperwork. Dramatic pause. I mean, come on, guys. Alvarez filed the lawsuit with the the Central District of California on Tuesday, alleging breach of contract by De La Hoya and Golden Boy Promotions. The suit sought a minimum settlement of $280 million, the re- remaining amount of Alvarez's 
uh, record breaking 11 fight, $365 million contract, blah, 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 blah. You know, signed in uh, October 2018. We know this, okay? Um, as, re- uh, as revealed in the filed lawsuit, the actual contract exists between the zone and golden boy the latter who who in turn in turn pays alvarez very complicated here okay by his own admission alvarez has never seen the contract by his own admission alvarez has never seen the contract by his own admission canelo alvarez has never seen the freaking contract between the two so you have multiple contracts floating around now now i know what people are saying people are there's this one guy made a comment in the last video hey bro there's like three contracts bro i mean look, yeah i know that's a a lot of reading to do, but my God, when you have a team of lawyers, a team of attorneys, nearly $400 million, one of the biggest sports deals in history on the table, you might want to take a little gander at the other effing contracts, okay, you moron. I'm so sick of these people leaving these comments like that. This guy is trying to defend Canelo saying, well, hey, bro, I mean, you know, we can read one contract for $400 million, but three, I mean, that's kind of asking a lot. Dramatic pause. You guys get it, right? Alvarez and De La Hoya endured a falling out last year over the, over this very subject. And basically, you know, it, we, they're talking about, you know, how during the Kovalev fight, the build-up, the, the press event, and the, the tour, how there was, you know, tension. There was bad blood. You know, there was a little, you know, a little, little bit of a disturbance in the room, right? And I told you guys about this. Uh, let me let me go down here. Such language is not found in the existing contract, as discovered by Alvarez's attorney. Okay, the contract states that Alvarez's opponents would be mutually selected by Alvarez. Now, guys, don't click off. Listen to me tell you this. Okay, let me go back and remember what I said. Canelo is the shot caller. Go read the comments. So many people say, "Oh no, bro, it's up to the zone. It's up to Golden Boy. His resume isn't his fault." Well, right here, this is proof from the actual contract that Canelo has the ultimate say in who he does or does not fight. Okay, uh, and and again, I want to read this and I'll cut it off. Such efforts to remain business. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, efforts to land on an approved opponent for Alvarez next fight have been compromised by uh, the insistence of the global superstar, I don't even like Canelo, right? Having to take a massive pay cut, which he was willing to do within reason, which is total BS because they paid him more. That's public record. We know that now. Uh, All while claiming final say on who he faces. All while claiming final say on who he faces. All while claiming final say on who he faces. According to the contract, Canelo is the ultimate decider, okay? Such language is not found in the existing contract as discovered by Alvarez's attorney. The contract states that Alvarez's opponents would be mutually selected by Alvarez and Golden Boy subject to Alvarez's final approval not to be unreasonably withheld. I mean, this is a freaking train wreck, guys. I mean, this is an absolute train wreck. Who is writing these contracts? I mean, pillar to post. We, we got a bunch of dumb lawyers here. My God. You know, I'm just some idiot from Texas, and I can draw up a better contract than this, Mike. What is going on, right? Wow. Um, In closing, uh, accordingly, the court dismisses plaintiff's complaint for lack of subject matter jurisdiction. Judge Anderson stated in the dismissal, a district court may and should grant leave to amend when it appears that subject matter jurisdiction may exist, even though the complainant inadequately... Okay, inadequately, inadequately alleges jurisdiction. Like I said in the beginning, in layman's terms, his lawyers filed the wrong damn paperwork. Okay, and before you go defending Canelo saying there's multiple contracts, I mean, my God, sit down and read them, bro. You got 400 million on pay somebody to read them you got enough money that's what your lawyer is for like whoever brokered the deal between canelo and said parties should be fired so look guys canelo ko'd round one and look i can't wait for round two because now here's the thing Let, let me say this in closing either they go back in five days or i think now they have until september 21st they were granted an extension or it is dismissed dropped finito done so i don't know guys i mean it, it, it just, like I said, this is crazy. It, look, the more you dig, the more research you do, the crazier it gets. I mean, my God, what is going on here? I mean, you want to talk about incompetent people, 
right? I mean, this is like the definition of being incompetent. I mean, seriously, like I said, I could, I could freaking make up a better contract. What is going on? I don't know. Let me get to the bottom here. What does it say? We'll, we'll get to the bottom. We'll shut it off. I went too damn far, guy. I went too damn far. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, wait. Let's read some of these comments here. Stupid attorney should be fired immediately. You see, guys. You see. It's not me hating Canelo. I just randomly stumbled across this comment. Stupid attorneys uh, should be fired immediately. You can't continue with that representation. You already know it's a bad sign. Incompetent counsel. I swear, hand to God, I've never read these comments. I just said the exact same thing. But if you're a Canelo fan, you're going to defend this every step of the way. Why? I don't know. If this was Gennady Golovkin, I would be going in just as hard, probably harder. Okay, I'm being nice. On a 1 to 10, this is a 4, this is a 5. Look, I can easily ramp it up to an 8 or a 9 because I believe he is trying to kill boxing. He's trying to steal your money, take your money, take advantage of you, ruin the sport of boxing as we know it. That is exactly what he's doing. Why? Because he's greedy. Guys, that's all it is. It boils down to greed. Look, greed is killing boxing along with bad matchmaking. But look, this shouldn't even be happening. The original contract should clearly state who is the matchmaker, who has that right, who possesses that power. It shouldn't be left up to three guys that might maybe sort of kind of may agree on something. I mean, that that is how you run a lemonade stand. That is how you run a garage sale, not a $400 million dollar contract and guys this could ultimately end the zone the platform could tank it was already tanking this could kill it even if they come up with a settlement offer for canelo which they probably will in order to keep him to try to recuperate the losses they're probably going to pay him off and say oh canelo we're so sorry here's 100 million you know please finish out your contract so we can at least make up the 100 million and maybe walk away with somewhat of a profit I mean, guys, this is extortion, criminal, shameful, and I cannot believe it is happening. And where are all the boxing fans? Where, where, are, where are you? Am, again, am I the only one that cares? This is why boxing is dying. Where's your passion? Where's your heart? I mean, don't you love boxing? Is it just me? Is boxing dead? I don't know, guys. Tell me below.